how I got into the best shape of my life and how you can get into the best shape of your life. Now, as you can see with the cover photo, I was a little buff, fluffy. I'm 5'7", 200 pounds. My arms were about 18 inches. My neck was thick. I had traps, chest, but I kind of had a gut. I was really smooth. Kind of looked like a, those old school professional wrestlers. And the other pic, which was about 60 days after, dude, trimmed down 155, no, 150. And I was just six pack, but my arms really shrank. It was about 13, 13 inches, really just slimmed down, Bruce Lee style, like back everything was just ripped up. Now, if you're from my TikTok, you see I do a lot of boxing, jump roping, shadow boxing, 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 okay? For you guys here on YouTube, <clears throat> you gotta just go off of the cover photo, which is just 200 bulky pounds to 155 Bruce Lee, 150 pounds Bruce Lee looking style. All right, now this is what I did. It was really basic. At 200 pounds, all I did was body weight workouts. I had like a prison fluff, and it was just push ups, pull ups, body weight squats. Really basic. No like muscle ups, nothing crazy, just pull ups, push ups. I would do like inverted rows on the dip bar, some dips here and there, but just a lot of push ups about a thousand to two thousand a day, 500, five to eight hundred body weight squats every other day. At least, at least when I did pull ups, a minimum of at least 200, 10 sets of 20 or uh, 20 sets of 10, and I just did it in sets and just lots of food. Just lots of carbs, lots of going out eating. I mean, like eating four to five times a day, just junk food. McDonald's, Taco Bell. On top of that, all of this monster energy drinks, pre-workout, whatever. All right. Now, prior to that, I have fought in the cage. I fought amateur MMA. So I know what it feels like to be in fighting shape. So after I got big for like two years, I just focused on gaining mass and just doing a lot of body weight exercises. I really enjoyed it. I just wanted to get as big as I can. And right before COVID came up, I wanted to get back into the ring. I wanted to do boxing. Because that's my first love is boxing. I boxed as a kid. So all I did was every day I ran eight miles in the morning. Okay, I didn't even care how I felt. At 200 pounds, 5'7", dude, running the eight miles every morning, 3.30 in the morning, it was horrible. At first it sucked. Okay, But I pushed through. I would run it with just little shorts on, like uh, like military PT shorts, short shorts, combat boots, no shirt and a hat, all right? In the cold, whether it was raining or it was cold, normally 3.30 in the morning, it's not hot at all. Just raining, cold, just go, okay? Eight miles in the morning. Um, in the evening, I would do at least two to three hours of boxing training, so that would be Jumping rope at least 10 minutes, speed bag at least 10 minutes, double end bag 10 minutes, and at least like an hour to an hour and a half of hitting the heavy bag, shadow boxing, just going at it, all right? My diet was really simple. I did intermittent fasting, whatever you want to call it. Back in the day, I always used to intermittent fast. Before this thing became a fad, it was just being broke. You just eat once a day. And I was just, I was an active kid, so like, skating riding bmx bikes like dude we only eat like once or twice a day school lunch go home dinner at like whatever time dinner was served you know what i mean so that it was basically steak like an eight ounce steak with one apple for lunch around 12 one o'clock dinner was around seven o'clock eight ounce steak and one apple that's it my son's over here and just two meals a day i would drink two cups of coffee one at about 2 45 2 30 depending what time i woke up i would have one cup of coffee first thing in the morning hit my run go about my day and then around uh two o'clock two three o'clock or at lunch i would have another cup of coffee my son my tarzan boy he's gonna be in this video so don't mind me with this youtube channel i'm just gonna keep it just real okay so my son's yeah. probably gonna pop okay. out here and there <laughs> and um dude just black coffee two cups of black coffee and water nothing else no 
um, diet pills, nothing. You don't need anything. You just really need consistency, all right? Now, I did that, dude, for the first month. I really shed a lot of weight, maybe about 25 pounds. And it was just going fast because, dude, I'm only eating like two 8-ounce steaks. That's not a lot of calories. It's just pure protein, pure animal fat, and then just one apple just to help with the carbs. But other than that, dude, running the 8 miles and training 3 hours a day, every day, 7 days a week, all right? It, I shed in that first 30 days really quickly. I probably went from 200 to... That's where the most of it came from. So 200 to about one... If I had to guess in 30 days, I went to about one... No. I went to about 178, 180, okay? The first month was about 20 pounds. It wasn't that quick, but from the second month, 180 to 150, it really caught on because by then, I could really fly the eight miles. At first, dude, with combat boots, it, it was taking me like almost two hours. I was struggling. But once, you know, the body gets accustomed, and I wasn't running it for speed. I was just, I needed to cover the distance. Because I knew at eight miles, no matter how fast you run it, if you step into the ring, dude, like, you're going to be conditioned. This kid over here. But, um,. That second month, really, I lost all the weight because I was getting my shape back. I was able to fly faster on the runs. My heavy bag work, the jump, everything was just getting into place, all right? Now, it's really that simple. You don't need any of these crazy workout techniques, dude. If you have a lot of fat on you, just look at the fat as energy. You just have a lot of energy. You got to burn it, you know, you, and just don't eat too much, okay? I'm not one of those science-based coaches if you want to do like i can count your macros this and that make a meal plan it's really simple but in the end when you're first starting you don't want to make it too complicated dude just cut down on the meals cut out the junk food and work out more once you start you can hold that for at least three months then we can get into the details we can get into the details from the beginning but it's going to be much harder all right now after the two months, yeah, I was, dude, I was in tip-top shape. I mean, you see the before and after. I put them right next to each other. But this is to help you, all right? If you want to get into your best shape, what you need to do is you got to kind of see what it is you look like and what you feel like in your mind. In your mind, you're going to have to sit and do some imagining, all right? If you want to get into the best shape of your life, you got to know what you kind of want to look like. I always was drawn to Bruce Lee, that Bruce Lee look, Sugar Ray Leonard, Sugar Ray Robinson. I mean, Mayweather, just a leaner cut, but leaner. Not too bulky, not too crazy big, just leaner and lankier. Marvin Hagler, that's why I would run in the boots in the cold, okay? Here's a one little secret. I looked at all the boxers, and like Marvin Hagler was like shredded, crazy. Then I saw what he was doing. He was running in the cold. Then I, I looked up some stuff like something about running in the cold makes it harder on your body. So your body always has to like use up fuel, fat, and whatever, carbs, whatever, to spike up your metabolism to keep your body warm. So that's why I would do the jogging without a shirt. In Hawaii, it's not, it's not crazy cold. It's not snowing. But I would do it without a shirt, even in the rain. And that's how I got ripped. I feel that's my secret, all right? That's how I got extremely ripped really fast. Like, it targeted the fat really quickly because I was in the cold, dude. And just trying to continuously heat up my body just really takes more energy and just pulls it off from my body, all right? Now, you got to have a vision of what it is you want to look like. Uh, homie asked the question of, he was bigger. How do you slim down? And lose the muscle and for me okay the trick for you you gotta get it in your mind what you want to look like how you want to feel and how you want to move once you kind of get that clicking in your head just do that okay so the eight mile dude at 200 pounds five seven i was literally just doing body weight workouts i i like left fighting from my mind like i said i used to fight in the cage and like, I was done with fighting. I just wanted to just build muscle. So 
all fight training, everything was gone. I just focused on eating and push-ups, pull-ups, squats. I, and to do a 1,000 push-ups, 1,000 to 2,000 push-ups every day, like, it takes some time. I can't be thinking about anything else. On top of the push-ups, the pull-ups, the squats, whatever ab work I did, whatever bo other body weight workouts, you got to cut everything up to hit those kind of numbers, all right? So I, I really neglected the fight training. And I was thinking in my head, before I get in the ring, this is what I want to look like, this is what I want to feel like. In order for me to feel this way, okay, this is what I got to do. Run eight miles. And like I said, at 200 pounds, 5'7", with what I was doing, just jumping straight into running eight miles, dude, it fucking sucked. But that's what you got to kind of do. If you have a like, if you have that vision, like, okay, this is how I move. I my leg goes up this high for kicks, this and that. If you can't do it, just regress a little bit. Just keep going backwards until you get comfortable with what you can do, and then shoot forward. Every week, progress. All I did was I saw the main vision of what I was doing, and I just did that, and I stuck to it. I didn't give a fuck how much it hurt, and that's why just in those two months, I was able to just boom, get everything off because I was just moving feeling, thinking as the person that I wanted to be. If you want the shortcut, that's the shortcut. Basically for everything, if you want to talk about manifestation, law of attraction, this and that, find what it is this ideal version of yourself is doing. Then just bring him here into this present. How is he going to count his money? How does he talk to other people? How does he eat? How What is he eating? What is he thinking while he's eating? Okay, I don't want to get too deep on that, but that's what I was doing. When I was running this eight miles, Instead of suffering like a fat 200 pound Chez, what is the in shape Chez thinking while he's running? And boom, what is the in shape Chez thinking while he's hitting this bag? What is the in shape Chez thinking while he's jumping this rope? And that's when everything changed. And that's what allowed me to just stay consistent with such a hard program. What is the best ideal version of Chez thinking? While he's only eating two eight ounce steaks and two apples, nothing but water. Get to that point. Think that way. To create the program and start structuring your mind to think like that person. And that should really get you along your way. That should really sh reshape your body, reshape your fitness, reshape your health, reshape all of your relationships. Should help you out. Now, and I will always end it with this. Just always remember, be the energy you want to receive. Watch your life dramatically change. <clears throat> Let's go. <laughs>